Oh, there he is. Are you joining us today? The man of the hour. Hi, we are back for part two of Wreck This Journal. We left off on filling this page with a bunch of circles. And I really like how this one turned out, but I'm excited to go to the next page. I teased the next page at the end of part one, so hopefully you have a word in mind. For what I'm going to write over and over again. I chose a word that is something I like to do and is something that brings me a lot of joy and I chose the word laugh. I also wanted to pick a word that I wouldn't misspell because <laughs> I'm not the best speller in the world. So let's go ahead and write our first one. And I think I want to write it the same a couple times and then we'll change up the way that it looks. Can you hear my cat right now? If I can hear him, you can probably hear him. Let me move him before we get too far along here. Oh, there he is. Are you joining us today? Let me move him before he becomes too disruptive and this video gets too chaotic. He's almost like Beetlejuice, but instead of having to call his name three times to make him appear, all I have to do is start filming an ASMR video. Okay, let's write this in cursive one more time. Mimi. We'll use, I actually really liked it when we did the drops of ink and then smushed the pages together. So maybe we'll use that kind of as a background. Let's use this. Of green instead. With a little bit of the turquoise. Or would this be considered teal? that is. Okay, I'm gonna fill in the word laugh around and then I think we will use it over top of the ink once that just dries a little bit. So I'm looking at my tools here and I do like using the paint markers. So let's keep going with those. These are the Molotov acrylic paint markers. Ooh, this one's not even started yet. a little off the page, but that's okay. The 
reason that I chose the word laugh is because if you've seen some of my non-ASMR content before, whether that be my live streams on TikTok or maybe my Instagram posts, you would know that I like to laugh a lot. But one thing you may not know is that for the longest time, my laugh was a little bit of a defense mechanism for me. And I would laugh anytime I felt uncomfortable or a little bit awkward. And I still catch myself doing it to this day. But now, as I've gotten a little bit older, I laugh more just because I'm having a good time. But still, if I ride a roller coaster, you'll find me laughing. Or maybe if I go to a haunted house, I'll also laugh a lot. It's always just been something I use subconsciously to lighten the scenario or how I'm feeling in that moment. But I also just love to laugh. It's really healing for my soul. So we're doing a little bit of a block letter moment right now. And the only reason I chose to do the G in lowercase and the rest in uppercase is because I hate doing block letter uppercase G's. So that might be driving you crazy seeing it in lowercase right now, but that's just because I don't like capital G's. Can't explain it. It's just the way it is. Maybe we'll even fill this in. to say. Let's do the shadow. And then maybe we can take a colored pencil. I just don't like capital G's. They just feel wrong to me. It just feels much more natural to do a lowercase, but I know it looks a little odd being the only lowercase in an all capital word. But a little odd is never a bad thing. I'm 
Maybe we'll put one down here. some sort of pattern or design over top of this just to fill in the space a little bit more, make it a little bit messier. So I have these stamps that go on this little block and maybe We'll use pink because it's nice and contrasting to all the colors that we have on the page. And then we'll just kind of stamp it on. this gray one. like. I just don't want them to look too uniform. So I'm just writing them quickly and then maybe we'll wait for that to dry because I think I want to add some white elements to it. So we'll just start over here. I am getting paint all up the side of my arm from placing my hand. If you thought I was going to make a pretty journal, you were mistaken. Give it a second to dry before we flip on to the next page. 
Okay, I think we're safe to turn the page. Alright, so this page we get to test for pens, paints, markers, and art supplies. And we just get to test in this entire area. And for this one, since I know mostly what all of my paint supplies look like and do, I do have a box of oil pastels that are kind of bunged up because I haven't used them in a little while and I just store them in this little case. And they kind of rub all over each other when they're in here, so I figured we could clean them a little bit on this page and see the different color variations that happen. And there's really no method to my madness. Well, most of the time. I'm just grabbing whichever one I happen to grab. supplies as they don't really go bad. I've probably had these oil pastels for anywhere from 12 to 15 years. And they're definitely not the best quality, but they, they work perfectly fine. rich dark blue. And the pigment in it is super strong. You can see right there where a lot of the brown from the other oil pastels in the container are coming off and this is why you always want to swatch them before. the sound of me rubbing the oil pastel against the paper is relaxing because that's pretty much what this entire page is and it's not like the sound of rubbing chalk on a chalkboard because that wouldn't make a very good ASMR video now would it? really buttery as well. You can feel it. As soon as you pick it up, it almost has like a soft velvety texture where some of them are a little bit more chalky in your hand. All right, so that's probably good for this page. We've swatched a bunch of different colors. Actually, I lied. Let's do one more. I saw this color peeking out and I do want to use it. Perfect. Alright, what do you think? 
we should do on the other side. I do have these two ink pads that are brand new. You can see they're still in the wrapper. So why don't we go ahead and use these? really pretty color. I also have these stamps that I've never used, so that seems appropriate. Peel off the last stamp, and let's do maybe these flowers. Having a very blue, green, purple theme to our ASMR uh, Beckett journals, and that is unintentional. It just keeps being the colors that I end up using. Oops. <laughs> I wanted to get it really close to the edge. Just using some of the ink on the board, kind of make rubbings around where we stamped. Just because, no reason, just because I felt like it. Alright, and there we have it. We have two more pages done in our Wreck-It journal. I had a lot of fun with this so far. And I'm excited to keep working on this journal with you guys, ASMR style, of course. And then once we're all done, we can go back and look at all the pages together. I hope you are feeling relaxed. And if not, I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. <laughs>